Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will show you how to eliminate the constants. The constant that is about C in here. We need to eliminate all of them. Now, I will show you how to answer. For this one, we need to do first the derivative for the both sides. So this one, we have to s. This one, we need to do first the derivative of s multiplied by y square minus we, because we have the negative sign in here. We need to do first the derivative of y square multiplied by s. This one, that is about the constant. So you got number 0. This one, we have 6s. This one we have y square. This one we have two y and first the derivative of y multiplied by s. And that is the answer. Now let's go to number two. This one we divide both sides by y. So we simplify Now we need to do first the derivative for the both sides So this one we need to do first the derivative of s multiplied by y plus first the derivative of y multiplied by s. This one we have negative 1 over y square and we have first the derivative of y. This one that is about the constant so you got number 0. Now we simplify negative and negative we have positive and this is the final answer question number three we do the same with question number one we need to do first the derivative for the both sides so here is the final answer Now let's go to the last one. For this one, we can see that we have c number 1 e to the power of s plus c number 2 e to the power of negative s. So for this one, that is about complementary solutions. And this one, that is about particular solution. So we need to apply differential equations. So for this one, I need to consider about complementary solutions. So that should be about like this.
So that means this one, we have lambda equals to number one. That is from here. And lambda equals to negative number one. So we have two solutions. So I will put number one go to the left. We have negative number one. Lambda plus one equals to number zero. So we have lambda square minus number one. So that means this one we have second derivative of y minus y. And now the next one we have y equals to s. That is about particular solutions. So we have y b equals to s. So if we do first derivative we have number one. And the second, you got number zero. So, because we have the negative in here, that means on the right, we should have negative S. Why? Because if I put this one going here, you got about s but this one you got number zero so on the left and on the right they got the same and this is the final answer that is the end thank you for watching